Doc here, Physics 101, Light and Visual Phenomena, and a short tutorial on the index of refraction as it's related to critical angle. First, remember to always memorize your standard cases here for the index of refraction. Vacuum is one, air is so close to one in our course, we consider it to be one, and then water is four thirds, 1.33 and glass is three halves, 1.50. Not exactly three halves, not exactly four thirds, but it helps me to think of those small numbers and their ratios. If they don't help you, just go ahead and remember the numbers as you see in the table. Diamond here, 2.4. So we go to critical angle, and the critical angle is found for cases where you go from a greater index of refraction to a lesser one. See, glass has a greater index of refraction compared to air. So the light bends away from the normal and you can bend away so much if this angle of incidence is big enough, then you skim the surface and when you do that you have a refracted ray of 90 degrees, the maximum possible refracted degree case and the angle of incidence is considered by definition the critical angle. Notice you have reflection here where the reflected angle is always equal to the incident angle. Now if you get bigger than this angle you can't refract and bend away anymore. You used up all your bending so all the energy the light is reflected if we neglect a little bit of absorption that may be taking place. So here you have total internal reflection, the light is reflected instead of being shared with a refracted part and a reflected part. So this is a strong uh, reflection here because of that and this is used in fiber optics. Now to get the idea into some specific challenging questions for exams, I'm going to click on the refraction applet and we're going to look at some cases. Here this is the normal, a dotted line we draw in class, that's our reference, and our angles are measured from that normal. So here is an incident angle of about 46 degrees and the reflected angle is going to be the same but the refracted angle here is less. It's a little more than 30 degrees and that's because we're going from a fast medium to a slower one or an index of refraction here that is like 1 for air and then here it is greater it is 1.33. Now what I'm going to do is flip these. Let's put this one at the top to be the water and the one at the bottom to be the air. So now I'm bending away from the normal because I'm going from slow to fast or from a great index of refraction to a lesser one lesser one. So here when I get this angle just right and skim the surface, see my refracted angle here, my refracted ray is almost at 90, so 86 or 87, and my incident is about 50, and when I just skim the surface and go, well here I went beyond the critical angle is about 50, you know, 50 degrees, a little bit less here, like we skipped over it, but right is greater than that a little greater than that, and right about there, say, is where you have it. And then all the greater angles, total internal reflection. So when you look at, say, a more dramatic case, say, with diamond, let's go to diamond here, then the critical angle is less because there's more of a shock in going from 2.4 to uh, one, so you don't have to have a big angle to get the same effect because it's you know the the bending's more dramatic. So remember that when you go to the diamond, which has a greater index of refraction, the critical angle is actually smaller. And if you want to have a real a real uh, small critical angle, just maximize your index of refraction up here. Here I have a fictitious three. If I go to three, then the critical angle is even less, like 20 degrees. If you want to have a large critical angle, have less shock and going from here to here. So for example, if I bring this way up very close to three, then oh, see, not much bending 
not very dramatic there because they're so close and look at that I have to have a really large critical angle about 65 degrees uh, for a more realistic case let's pick diamond 2.4 get 2.4 there and I'm going to slide this one here to glass so that's not as much of a shock compared to diamond to air so here the critical angle is going to be greater see it's going to be here near 40 and then if I make this air down here then it's a more dramatic effect so just be careful reason these out with common sense is it more shocking of a change if it is then the effect because it's more dramatic the angle see you'll reach the critical case early early here if you start out at zero you'll get to it here at a smaller angle so have fun playing with that applet. It'll teach you a lot of physics in a short period of time.